Welcome to our Espresso Kitchen, and back with us is the beautiful Nastasa Jaffa, the 2010 USN Face of Fitness winner. And this morning we will be talking about proteins, carbs, and fats. What are they, and why are they so important for us? Nastasia, welcome back to our Espresso Thank Kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having nice me. Nice to have you. Balanced diet is very important when it comes to weight loss, specifically also for women. Now we need to have protein, fats, and carbs. First of all, what are they? Okay, proteins are very important. Um, we eat proteins and it gets assimilated into our own bodies. Yeah. So if you, if you deprive your body of protein, then you aren't going to be able to build muscle and um, have muscle recovery. Yeah. Um, we've also got some carbohydrates here today. Carbohydrates are very important. Your body runs on glucose and the energy that you eat. So avo obviously represents fats, right? Yeah, avo is fats, also vegetable. Yeah. Um, and we've got some olive oil here, okay. and we've also got an example of bad fats, okay. which would be your trans fats. That's my next question, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good and bad fats, what should we avoid? What type of fat? Well, too much saturated fat is obviously bad for you, and you get saturated fats in animal products. Yeah. Um, obviously, your, your favorite bacon and ah, lamb, no. very high in saturated fats. And saturated fats, they tend to mm. sit in our arteries and veins, yeah. and they, they clog those up, slows down your metabolism, and just it basically causes havoc in the body. Okay, and what about, what about carbs? I mean, carbs are carbs. You know, I know it as carbs, but are they good and bad carbs? Um, carbs, uh, you get good and bad carbs. Um, example of bad carbs would be something that releases glucose too quickly into the blood. Yeah. Um, so maybe a, a white pasta or something. If you eat a lot of that, then you're going to get a lot of sugar released really quickly into the blood. You're yeah. going to get an insulin spike. You're going to get maybe a hot flush. You're going to yeah. feel sleepy, want to go for a nap. That's because you've got too much glucose in your blood. You weren't eating low GI. So there's a lot of emphasis today on eating low GI. Yeah. That's complex carbohydrates like whole, whole wheat bread, um, a baked potato is a good example. You want to eat mm. carbohydrates in small portions. And does the same apply for proteins as well? Well, you do get good proteins and bad proteins. Yeah. Um, you, you get, well, a lean protein is, your, is, your, is what you should opt for. You okay. can have a piece of fish, you can have a chicken breast, you can have a lean piece of steak. Yeah. But um, you, the very fatty cuts of meat you should try and avoid because those mm. are your bad examples of protein. All right. There's a lot of diets out there, especially the newer diets, you know, that suggest that you should cut out one of these either proteins, fats, or carbs. What is your take on that? I don't believe in cutting out any food group. Um, your body needs everything. Your body needs fats to balance your hormones. A lot of your body processes are governed mm. by the fats that you have. And if you if you look at the structure of cells, um, the lipids around the cells are all fatty lipids. So mm. your body really relies on fats to be a balanced organism. You need fats, good fats, olive yeah. oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, almond oil. Yeah. All of these vegetable oils tend to play a very important role in our bodies. And uh, the same obviously for carbs and proteins. You need that balance between the three of them, eh? And not too yeah, much of, of one. Of course you do. You need, your brain relies on glucose to function. I mean, yeah. that's the only energy source that your brain has. So if you cut yeah. out carbohydrates, you're going you're gonna to get really sluggish. You aren't going to be able to concentrate. You need to have glucose yeah, yeah, every yeah. day in every meal. So you should have yeah. carbs with yeah. every meal. So I don't believe in these yeah. diets of cutting out carbs. You can reduce the amount of carbs you have and your body will be inspired to maybe search for others other yeah. energy sources around the body, your stored fats. So yeah, if you yeah, yeah. reduce your carbs, your body's going to maybe burn some fats. Yeah. Now when starting a new diet, we know that preparation is key, but with our hectic lifestyles nowadays, we sometimes are forced to miss that important meal. So in terms of supplementation, what can we do? What I'd recommend is USN's Diet Fuel. It's a fantastic meal replacement. It's a, it's a wonderful balance between the carbohydrates, the fats, and the proteins. So that's your three essential food groups blended together, and that's yeah. what you should have yeah. as your meal replacement instead of going to the vending machine. Yeah. Stay away from the vending machine. Stay away from the vending or, machines. Or what about takeaways? <laughs> <laughs> or even takeaways. Now that brings me to the next point. I love going to restaurants, especially an Italian restaurant, because I love pasta. What can I do you know, not to mess up my diet? Well, at restaurants, they often give you a huge portion, and yeah. you, you want to you want to finish your plate. You don't want to be rude. So you've eaten a huge pasta. You got too much glucose in your blood now. Mm. USN's got a product called um, Carb Block. You can take that, and it's going to yeah. stop the body absorbing too much energy mm -hmm. too quickly. So you won't go into that lipogenesis oh, okay. where your body makes fat and stores it. And what about uh, a nice big hamburger with like meats and cheese and sauces yeah. and pork everything? Pork ribs, that's your favorite. Pork ribs, I love pork ribs. <laughs> High in fat. Uh, we've yeah. got a USN fat block. Okay. You take that and that's going to slow down the absorption of fats. In fact, it actually will minimize it completely. So you won't get the absorption yeah. of the fats into the blood. 
and then obviously if you get less of that, you won't have yeah. as much fat storage. Okay. So you can try and get away with eating out every now and then if you've yeah. got your USN fat block and carb <laughs> block with you. Nastasia Jaffa, the 2010 USN Face of Fitness winner, giving us some valuable information on proteins, fats, and carbs. Now join us again tomorrow because she will be showing us a healthy breakfast, so don't miss that.